In a small village nestled at the foot of a misty mountain, there lived a girl named Mia. Mia loved spending time in her grandmother's garden, a beautiful place filled with colorful flowers, buzzing bees, and chirping birds. But what Mia loved most were the stories her grandmother told about the garden's magical properties. One evening, as the sun was setting and the garden was bathed in a golden glow, Mia's grandmother called her over. Mia, dear, she said, there's a secret about this garden that I've been waiting to tell you. This garden is enchanted, and if you listen closely, you can hear the plants and animals talking. Mia's eyes widened in amazement. Really, Grandma? Can I talk to them too? Her grandmother nodded. Yes, but you must have a pure heart and a kind spirit. Tonight, when the moon is high, go to the center of the garden and make a wish. That night, under a sky filled with twinkling stars, Mia tiptoed to the garden center and made her wish. I wish I could talk to the plants and animals so I can help them. Suddenly, the garden came alive with whispers. Flowers swayed, and their petals seemed to glow. A tiny voice spoke from behind a rose bush. Hello, Mia. We've been waiting for you. Mia turned to see a small fairy with shimmering wings. I'm Flora, the guardian of this garden. Thank you for your kind heart. We need your help. Mia listened as Flora explained that a drought was coming, and the plants and animals were worried. If we work together, we can save the garden, Flora said. Elmia, filled with determination, called upon the villagers for help. She explained the garden's plight and asked them to bring water and care for the plants. The villagers, moved by Mia's plea, gathered buckets, hoses, and tools to assist. For days, everyone worked tirelessly. Mia spoke to the plants, encouraging them to stay strong, and guided the animals to safer areas. The village children helped too, singing songs to lift everyone's spirits. As they worked, something magical happened. The garden seemed to respond to their kindness and efforts. Rain clouds began to form, and soon, a gentle rain fell, soaking the thirsty soil. The plants perked up, their colors brighter than ever, and the animals danced in the rain. Flora appeared again, smiling. Mia, because of your bravery and kindness, you've saved the garden. The magic here is stronger than ever, thanks to you and the villagers. The garden flourished, becoming a place of wonder and beauty for all to enjoy. Mia's wish had come true in the most extraordinary way, teaching everyone the power of community, kindness, and working together. The moral of the story, with kindness and cooperation, we can overcome any challenge. Working together brings strength and hope, even in the toughest times.